This tutorial shows you how to install Orca using the Orca installer. All you need is the installer and a license key. To get started, double click on the installer and click Next. Accept the terms and conditions and click Next. Choose the installation directory and click Next. Enter the port number for the built-in HTTP server to use and then begin installation. Orca can be installed on Windows Server 2008 SP1 or later, whether it's virtual or physical, and the installer includes a self-contained web server as well as a self-contained database. This is definitely sufficient for trial and smaller installations, but for larger or enterprise installations, please contact Orca support. The Orca components can be deployed in a variety of ways, ranging from all components running on a single server to a system that uses clustered core components on multiple servers. Once the installer has installed all the appropriate files, database and web server, it's going to install the services needed. There are four services that should be running on this system. The notifier, the engine service, the agent service, and the console service. For more information on the services running, please visit our documentation. The installation is finished. Let's just make sure that all the files are there and the services are running. You can go to wherever you install the files and see that the folder has been created. And then start the task manager to see all the services that are running. And we can see that the four services have been created and have started. For more information, see the Getting Started video.